Hello and welcome to day three of Accessing Accessibility. We're going to be looking at dyslexia today and you can see what a dyslexic would look like when they're reading an item here. So we're going to be talking about colour and dyslexia today. So we're going to be thinking about some, using some of the colour filters and the inverse um, on the iPad that's automatically built in so that we can try and help our pupils. And you can see we want to consider alternatives to backgrounds, um, alternative to whites, maybe something more pastel. So once again, we go into our accessibilities on the settings. And this time, um, as you can see here, I've had to film it because it doesn't actually show up on the screen record what I'm going to do on the iPad. So we go into accessibility and we're going to go into display and text size. So we're just going to look at one part of this today. We're not going to look at the whole of this setting. So we're just going to go on to looking at inversing, uh, inverting colours. We're doing smart invert for this. So as you can see, it changes the colours. It changes that white background. And when I go into a web page, we now have white on black. And this is much easier for some dyslexic children to read. Some of them might prefer a different colour. So if we're thinking about different colours, we can also think about filters. You can see how colour blindness affects pupils. And if you pause this screen right here, you'll be able to think about some of the things you do in the classroom that might not help people that are colour blind. But on the iPad, we can help pupils by again going into accessibility and this time going on to colour filters. So this allows us to put a filter onto our screen on the iPad so that different colours um, are used. So we can go black and white so it's easier to read or we can add a different colour. We can add a red green filter, we can have um, a green red filter, we can have a blue yellow filter, or we can have um, a, a colour tint. Now we can change the intensity of that, make it a bit uh, stronger in intensity, or we can actually down the bottom, if you scroll down a bit, you can change the hue, the colour that's used. So we can also use this for earnings as well, but colour blindness, this can really help our pupils out with. So if you've got a colour blind student in, it might help them as well. Or again for dyslexics, it might be helpful for them to have a different colour background that might be more appropriate for them. So hopefully this has helped you think about dyslexics, earnings and colour blind pupils in your classroom. And join me again tomorrow for another go at the accessing accessibility for all our pupils.